second of two matchups between the two teams. As you can see, Milwaukee won the first matchup by a score of four to two. That was back on February the 5th. Charles Olivier Roussel with a game-winning goal in that one. Two points in that game. So the Bulldogs really need to build off the momentum that they gained from Tuesday's victory and put a run together. Shot goes wide of the net by Taylor Beck, the native of St. Catharines. Pattern in there battling down low with Vinny Sapinore, and the puck comes free, and Martin St. Pierre touches one off, and here's Schwinard. He'll fire one in wide of the net, but that will put Blunden in motion. Down low for Gabriel Dumas. He was checked smartly on the play by Roussel, and Milwaukee tries to break it up, but the pass missed, and it's fired right back in by St. Pierre. Roussel is back, sends one around, kept in by Drew Schistel. He reverses one to St. Pierre on the half boards. Down low for Blunden. Dumont to the front of the net. Mike Blunden carrying the mail. Dumont try to wrap. Shot, Blunden with a wraparound on the backhand, and there's a penalty coming up on the play. Good pressure by the Hamilton Bulldogs. Milwaukee picking up a penalty, Hamilton to the power play. Hooking is going to be the call here, two minutes and 21 seconds into the first period. A good shift there by Blunden, St. Pierre, and Dumont. Hamilton power play, Steve, currently ranking towards the bottom of the AHL rankings. A little bit of a generous assessment of Hamilton's power play woes. In fact, the team is 30th in goal scored at 2.35 per game. And Charles Olivier Roussel is the player whistle for hooking. Ford will send the Hamilton power play deep and in to try and provide some harassment to doing a successful job is. Mark Van Gilder. This is his 300th game tonight as a Milwaukee Admiral. So Nathan Boyu often quarterbacks the power play and he carries the puck inside the Milwaukee zone, peeling back to wait for his teammates to get into position. Thomas loses the battle on the half boards and the puck is shot down the ice by Scott Valentine. Boyu is back again. Boyu, the lone defenseman with four forwards as Mason Hour tried a spin move that didn't work. Thomas hit a skate, and it's Beck trying to split Andraghetto and Boyu, and Beck now will kill some time firing it to open ice. Here's a shot coming, big save made by Tokarski as Brian Rodney rifled a shot. Admiral's 12th in the American Hockey League, Steve, and shorthanded goals with seven. Milwaukee is just controlling things right now as Beck, who's done a wonderful job killing the penalty, will send it down the ice, and Hamilton has just 40 seconds remaining on this power play. Penalty kill that sits in the middle, literally, of the uh, AHL rankings. Milwaukee at 15th at 82.5, and the dog power play, as we mentioned, 29th out of 30 teams at 12.9% and have not generated a shot so far on this man advantage. Toussignol will send the Hamilton power play back. In fact, the best opportunity has gone to the Milwaukee right. Admirals. Here's St. Pierre, latter stages of this power play. Touched behind LeBlanc and back to St. Pierre. He tries to send one down low. Ford is in the way. Blunden was trying to work it free. St. Pierre backs it smartly back. Penalty's about to expire. Here's Gabriel Dumont. And it's lost, and here's Roussel out of the penalty box, and he's got a breakaway. Roussel waiting with a move. Great save made by Tokarski. Austin Watson, who had stripped Dumont to that puck and sent Roussel in on the breakaway. Tokarski with the stop his team needs. Austin Watson, who really norm built himself as a two-way forward, especially when he got dealt to the London Knights as its icing charge to Hamilton in the latter stages of his OHL career. And Watson is plus six so far this year, 35 points in 61 games. And that's one of those plays that you hope for as the penalty killing team to have that player step out of the box at just that right moment. But Tukarski stays deep in the net, waits out Roussel and makes the stop. So Roussel who had the game winning goal, another penalty coming up till Milwaukee is Natman bats it towards Tarnaski, so Hamilton will get the second power play opportunity of the period. Well, Justin Courtnow is going to draw the penalty. The draw is one in the Hamilton zone, and he gets a little bit of steam trying to get through the neutral zone, but he gets hooked. 
by the Milwaukee Admiral player. Looks like it's Patrick Celine who's going to take a seat. So another power play opportunity for Hamilton. A chance to get themselves on the board and a much needed lead. It hasn't really this been the game story of the season for the Hamilton Bulldogs. Getting power play opportunities and their fine line between success and failure has been the power play, hasn't it? Absolutely. But a second opportunity for Hamilton on the power play. Here's Sven Andragetto. Mason Hour is stick handling smartly, looking for Bornaval. Nice move by Bornaval. Got it back to Boyu. Time and space. Goes to Mason Hour with the move. Slides one out front to Boyu. He missed the net. Bornaval scores. It was a shooting gallery, and Bornaval was the one. Michael Bornival down for a weekend visit to Hamilton, a three-game conditioning stint, and he's going to cash in. Good play by Milwaukee. I think it was 29. Mark Van Gilder, who knocked Mason Hour away from that loose puck. But it finally comes to Bornival, who's able to bury it into the wide-open net. The Dogs get themselves a 1-0 lead. And the power play, Norm, that both of us are somewhat guilty of maligning Produces. Hey, what is going on the back? Tarnaski backhands one in. Back towards his own blue line now, make the turn and get it to, to Justin Cortnall. And Cortnall trying to make a move, pulling his way down the half boards, finally shooting it in. Where it's picked up by Liambus. Natten in there with a bump on the tough guy for the Admirals. And Tarnaski, the tough guy for Hamilton, is throwing his weight around. And we got a fight. And you could see this. It was an 18 wheeler on the 401, Norm. Liambus and Tarnaski. President Tough Guys for both teams. Lambis with 226 penalty minutes. Michael Lambis became well known for a hit four years ago in the Ontario Hockey League that uh, jeopardized a young man's career. That was Ben Finelli who just finished his overage year with Kitchener. Lambis was suspended for what was then the rest of his Ontario Hockey League career. And that was a tussle norm between two heavyweights, Tardaski and Lambis. And as we size that up, we'll go downstairs to read. Thanks very Reed. much. Read indeed with the AHL playoffs having the top three division winners claim the top three seeds. Then it gets a little bit muddy and a little bit messy, Norm, as they try and sort out the other five spots in each conference. Not quite as complicated as the NHL playoff structure, but close enough. Extra penalty goes up on the board for. Liambus, so a third power play opportunity for the Hamilton Bulldogs. Mason Hour stick handling, he's in all sorts of trouble and was checked by Brian Rodney. The puck goes down low. Thomas gets it back to the line for Boyu. Boyu walks the line for Andragetto, who's the forward playing the point. Boyu cross ice speed. Back up top it goes for Andragetto. Sets it up for Boyu. Thomas is in the slot hoping for an opportunity. Bornaval, boy, you, this is good puck movement by the Hamilton Bulldogs. Kept to the outside right now. Boy, you on his backhand. It was tipped by Van Gulik, and then he couldn't make a play on it. Puck comes out front now. And Van Gilder is able to clear the lines, and Hamilton's power play is sent back deep. So the extra penalty to Lambis is for roughing. He and Tarnaski both, of course, get fighting majors. It was Tarnaski who initially kind of touched off the fight with a solid bump near the Milwaukee bench. Here's Louis LeBlanc. Valentine checking him. Now the puck will get reversed back for Boyu. Boyu is stick handling, rolls one through. LeBlanc couldn't handle the pass, and it gets backhanded out by Scott Valentine. Boyu with an assist on the power play goal by Bourneval. He entered this game with zero points in his last six games, so he gets back into the score sheet. Only 31 seconds remaining in the Hamilton power play as Ford will send it forward. 
Nice move reaching behind him. Stopped by Tokarski was Philippe Forsberg. Another shorthanded opportunity for Milwaukee. Here's St. Pierre, rolls one through. Gabriel Dumont back up top. Now St. Pierre. Paterin with a shot, they score! London providing the havoc out front. Paterin on the power play, and it's 2-0 Bulldogs. 